It's official. Northwest girls are the fairest of them all. And Gladsob's Marilyn Ramos announced it in style as she took the crown of Miss South Africa 2012 in front of her home crowd. She even had some of the A-listers a little starstruck. That morning at Sun City, everything still hung in the balance. The title, the opportunities, the million rand in prizes, and the pleasant task of watching it all unfold fell to Simba. The perfect place to be on a day like this is right here at the Valley. Think about it, fun and games with your family or friends, but our 12 finalists have more serious matters to contend with. Hair, makeup, etc. In the chair, the thoughts of those like model Taryn Kim Cornelius ran to the future and the successful careers so many previous winners have had. Taryn, how are you, girl? I am nervous, and you? I can imagine. I mean, hair and makeup is being done now, literally a few hours away. I know. Away. I was actually looking at the time and I was like, one, two, three, four. Oh! <laughs> it's almost time, it's almost time. Why do you want to be Miss South Africa? It's always been my dream to perform live on stage. They had rehearsed as if for a Broadway musical, accompanied by the hippest artists from the Bala Brothers to Toya DeLazy. And honors student Charlotte Smith was up for it all. Miss South Africa challenges you in every single way. And I'm one of those individuals that likes to take myself out of my comfort zone and really test my limits. And if this is what being in the competition is like, I can only imagine what it's like to be Miss South Africa. This show is not just about the beauty, it's about the brains as well. What did you guys study again? I studied law at Stanimash University and I'm graduating next week. I studied a science degree in medical biosciences at the University of the Western Cape. Who's come out to support you? Uh, my parents, they're yeah. here all the way from Mandini. <laughs> and there's actually a couple of my neighbors out here I just saw on Facebook. They were messaging me saying we're here to support. And there's quite a few people, sort of people I don't even know from the Northwest, yeah. which is great. You guys must have watched a Miss Essay back in the day and you thought, one day I have to enter. I want to be Miss South Africa. Which one was it? I remember when Tansy won, I was like, oh, I want to be like her. And I remember when Nicole won, it was so um, inspirational to me. So I think. All of them have been very um, inspirational to all of us, and that's why we're here today. <laughs> what has been your favorite part of this whole process? When we get together for dinner, after long rehearsals and tasks, back when we were doing workshops, we get together for dinner and we just have a laugh, and we've got some funny characters in our group, so that's been the best, it's just bonding with the girls. Hey ladies, how are you doing? Hi, very I must say these outfits look stunning. Thank you. All by Gideon. What do you think of the dresses? I love, I love it. it. Yeah? He specifically created them according to our personalities. And the best part of all is we get to keep our dresses. Thank you, Yay. Gideon. <laughs> now, you've been going through rehearsals. Is it starting to feel real yet? Very real. <laughs> Especially, I mean, we've been doing it for a week now. I'm very excited, though. I think it only started sinking in when we did proper rehearsals yesterday. Full, Full on hair, makeup, outfits. Uh, I think, to me, that was probably the, the biggest yeah. hit. Uh, but yeah, we're excited. Durban-based Gideon had designed the tiaras as well as the magnificently hand-worked gowns, which had to embody several ideas. You know, they said that this year they're going Hollywood glam, but what I've seen so far is a bit of Africa with Hollywood glam, am I right? Yes, no, absolutely. You know, we in South Africa, South African designers, and I wanted to get a, a South African feel and an African feel. That's why I chose the colors that I chose. I gave them slight sort of earthy sort of colors. I did the silhouettes. I made them very, very sexy. I wanted to empower these girls because I think South Africa has got very strong women and they can compete on an international level, and that's what we wanted to do with the dresses. We wanted to empower them to make sure that they look absolutely beautiful, sexy, and that the dress doesn't wear them, but that they actually wear the dress. It's just under an hour before the show starts, and here I have one of the finalists. It's Joanne, what are you doing here? Well, I, I thought I'd sneak in and try for the crown again. It, it's been 12 years since they gave me a tiara, so I thought maybe... 12 years? It has been 12 years. Today, exactly, it's 12 years. <laughs> Is this bringing back a lot of memories, being back in this change room? Lots and lots of memories. I mean, I've been looking at the ladies. They're all so excited. They're all so gorgeous, and they've been really, really working hard. Mm -hmm. So very excited for them. And yeah, lots of memories. Very nostalgic. Joanne was most excited to see that Miss South Africa has kept its star-drawing power and audience appeal. The girls have been rehearsing for the past weekend, but now it's real. They're about to go on stage. Shanae, how are you feeling? 
Simba, I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. I cannot believe that this moment has finally arrived. We have practiced and practiced and practiced for a week. And I cannot believe that I'm actually standing here on the stage about to go out and present myself to the country. Well, listen, girl, you're about to go on stage and they're calling you. See you later. For Shauna and Connie Ferguson, it was a date night. What's your favorite part of the show? The fact that I get to dress up and go out with my husband. You know, we're such workaholics and when we're not working, we're at home with the kids. So for us, this is like a nice little outing for just the two of us. Yeah, no, she said it all. I mean, it's a night out. Uh, we don't go out much, so it's about going out and having fun. That's what it is. Anila, as a judge, you've watched the girls progress from the beginning mm -hmm. till now. Mm -hmm. What were you looking for as a judge? Do you know what? I was looking for that, that, that lady who, when she walks into a room, yeah. even if I don't want to look, I have to look. You're just like, whoa, you know? And I'm confident when I say all 12 of them are like that. So, like right now, it's up to them to see who's going to pip the other girl right at the last minute. What do you think of this year's contestants? Um, they're absolutely all beautiful, as always. Um, it's funny because you'll think that, like, you know, after, after we've chosen so many beautiful women over the years, over the last 10 years, that I've been saying that, like, you know, there'll be none left. Yeah. But, but every single year, man, they just, I think they just get more and more beautiful. That was the truth of it. As Pearl Nele made second princess, Stacey Webb took first princess, and the crowd's darling then took the crown. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss South Africa, 2012 is Marilyn Rogers! Marilyn, congratulations. What's going through your head right now? I'm in awe, like really in awe. I've never felt something so amazing before and I'm just truly blessed. Well, since you stepped off stage, you've been whisked back here, interviews, has it sunk in yet? No, not really. I think maybe if I wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to sink in. It's going to be like Miss South Africa 2012. <laughs> that night, she was still a 21-year-old interior architecture student from a little northwest town. Today, infinity lies before her. Oh,